317 isn't just the area code or the date on the calendar. It's how we identify ourselves. On March 17th, Real Scene TV teamed up with Midwest Leak and Nap or Nothing to bring awareness to local businesses. We ended the night at the Emerson Theater for a concert featuring local hip hop and gospel artists. Our newest reporter, Sierra Holmes, takes you inside the 317 concert. It's Sierra and we're here at the 317 concert for a 317 day. We have artists and entrepreneurs here. Everybody's supporting everything indie tonight. Uh, I dropped my new project today, Rubber Band Lingo 4. Uh, highly anticipated. It's been a long time since I dropped it, so that's how I'm celebrating it. And uh, I was letting everybody know shop local. I got my shop at Lafayette Square, The Makers, 3919 Lafayette Road. So that's how I was really celebrating my day today. Got you. So you're a artist as well as a clothing designer. How do you balance both of those? It's hard. It's tough because really uh, my clothing really all... Uh, came from my music, you know, so, and sometimes my clothing actually uh, takes care of my music, so it's like I'll be leaning more on this end, but music is my first love, so it's tough. I'm here tonight at the 317 concert with the founders of Slum House Clothing. How are you guys tonight? Doing all right. How you doing? Good, good, good. Okay, can you tell me a little bit about your line? Yeah, it's just, you know, we're just trying to speak for the middle class and lower class, you know what I'm saying, that don't have a voice. So we're trying to get out here. We're from the streets, you know what I'm saying? So we're really trying to get out here and, and just show our, our community love back, you understand? So you have a clothing line? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, ma'am, definitely. Me and my sister have a clothing line. It's actually called Genetic Dreams Clothing. We actually built it from me and my sister, one of the same dreams. Oh, you can find us on actual Instagram. You can find us on our website. And we're actually located at the Makers in Lafayette Square Mall as well. How are you today? I'm good. How you doing? So you have a really unique sound. Can you describe that sound for us a little bit? Uh, I guess you can just call it the Playboy sound. Uh, I just grew up on a lot of music. I'm really like a 90s geek. So you can say I'm inspired by the 90s, I guess. So you have your son here today because this is a kid-friendly concert. Did you guys rehearse before the performance? Does he go on with you often? Well, we didn't really have too much time to rehearse, but every show I can do for the kids, I make sure I bring them with me. So we've been doing it ever since he can walk. To learn more about Midwest Leak, visit them online.